from New York, the most romantic city in the world. Here come the newlyweds. And now, our own professor of pillow talk, Sherry Shepard. game, the show that has been helping married couples engage for more than 40 years. Now let's meet our lovely newlyweds. Sherry meet couple number one, Eric and Michelle. He's a computer geek by day and a rock star by night. She's his devoted groupie. One of them is definitely living out their rock and roll fantasy. <laughs> couple number two, Jeffrey and Christy got locked out of the house on their wedding night. She stripped down and crawled through the window in her lingerie. But he was charged with breaking and entering. <laughs> and couple number three, Stephen and Amanda met in the mosh pit at a heavy metal show. She threw one elbow to his head, and it was love at first fight. Back to you, Sherry. Wow. Welcome, couples. Good luck to all of you. Tonight, we're starting off with the reeds in the lead round. So the couple in the lead after the round win a quarter carat total weight stackable diamond rings. Courtesy of Reeds Jewelers, your family-owned jeweler trusted for generations. Now, ladies, why don't you head backstage so we can ask your husband some questions. All right, guys, I'm going to ask y'all three questions, and it's going to be up to your wives to match your answers. The couple with the most points at the end of the game will win a fantastic second honeymoon. Gentlemen, you ready to go? Yes. yes. All right. When you and your wife get your game on in the bedroom, do you provide play-by-play -play commentary, a few field instructions, or only give a post-game wrap-up? Eric? Hmm. I'd say a few field instructions. What she did definitely instruct? knows what's going on. Oh, so. she knows what's going on? Yeah. So you don't have to give too much help? Exactly, yeah. Okay. Jeffrey? I give her a play-by-play -play commentary. I let her know what's going on, when it's happening, and how it's going to happen. Oh! <laughs> I like you very vocal, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And what about you, Steven? I give her um, the second one, I forgot. The second one, which is uh, a few field instructions. Little, just like uh, air traffic control. You know, she knows where to go. Just try to guide her a little. So you just, <laughs> you just got to tweak it yeah, a little just bit. A little. Huh? Back up right here. Back up. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Gentlemen, next question. If you really needed the cash, what is the first possession of your wife's that you would pawn for big bucks? <laughs> Jeffrey? Probably her wedding ring. Ooh. And that's a dire straight Ooh, situation. Yikes! <laughs> so the wedding ring you pawned? Yeah, that's our most valuable possession. Like okay. And what about you, Stephen? The car, I guess. The car? Yeah. I'm not going to take the ring from her, so. Eric, what about you? Uh, I'd have to say the engagement ring. The engagement that, ring? Yeah, that set me back for a while. <laughs> so that's the one. Oh, my Absolutely. heart is dropping. Okay, gentlemen. This is our final question. If your wife's the JJ was your own private website. How many hits would you say you rack up in a week? <laughs> Steven? Ten. Ten? You're so confident. You knew it right. I mean, wow. Twice on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> That's, is that included in the ten? Yes, that is. Wow. You, oh, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> You are a real webmaster, aren't you? Yes. All right. Okay. What about you, Eric? I have to go with five. With five? Yeah, that's a, a good number. So five? <laughs> five. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go with five. Jeffrey? Unfortunately, I have to say two. We have a child. We're very busy. So those two? Just two. But how are those two? Oh, fantastic. Ah, <laughs> gentlemen, thank you so much. Great job. What we're waiting for the latest return, Gary. Please tell us about that second honeymoon that they're playing for. Tonight's winners are going to Franklin D. Resort and Spa, an all-sweet, all-inclusive boutique beachfront resort in Jamaica. Spacious suites, superb meals, bar drinks, water sports, live entertainment, and much more. Visit our website at www.fdrfamily.com. Gary, I like the way that sounds. All right, ladies, while you were gone, I asked your husbands three questions, and now it's your job to try and match their answers. Each correct answer earns you five points, so here we go. When you and your husband get your game on in the bedroom, did he say he provides play-by-play -play commentary, a few field instructions, or only gives a post-game wrap-up? Michelle? I'm going to say he gives a few field instructions. Why did you say that? Because a play-by-play? 
<laughs> I don't. That'd be weird. Okay. <laughs> so if you, you pretty much know what you're doing. Yeah. All, right. All right. What did you say? A few field instructions. Yeah. 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 Okay. Christy, what do you have to say? I would have to say the first one. The it, first one, which was play-by-play -play commentary. Yes. It's to, I don't know, just get the moment right and feeling good. Yeah. All right. What did you say, Jeffrey? Play-by-play -play commentary. <laughs> I like the way you guys think. All right. Amanda, what about you? I'm going to have to go with play-by-play play because um, my husband's very handsome and vocal and likes to take charge. So that's what I'm going to say. Yeah? What would you say? A few field instructions. Aww. All right. We're going to go to the next question. Ladies, if you really needed the cash, what is the first possession of yours that your husband said he would pawn for big bucks? Christy? My Precious Moments dolls, because they're worth a lot, and I don't think he particularly likes them. <laughs> what did you say? He said your wedding ring. <gasps> <laughs> I know where someone's sleeping tonight. <laughs> this is not exactly a precious moment, is it? <laughs> Amanda, what would you say? Well, I'm going to go ahead and say... Um, my wedding rings. Okay. What did you say, Stephen? Our car. Oh. He wanted to spare the wedding rings, Amanda. He said he'd take anything. I just your got wedding. the car like three months ago, and you want to pawn it off? She just got the rings three months ago too. No, I was being practical, all right? I didn't even think about the car. I wasn't even. Yes, thinking you about did, because you were mad at him when you had the car. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> okay. What about you, Michelle? I am also going to go with my car. Would he take the ring at all? Would he even think about that? He's way too proud of that. He's way too proud of the ring? Way to too think proud about of it. that? Did, was, it was really it's something special to both of you. Yeah, he picked it out himself. It was a big deal. It was, it's beautiful. Yeah. He, he wouldn't get rid of it. He picked that car. He better not get rid of that. <laughs> what did you say, baby? Her engagement ring. This is our final question, couples. Ladies, if your VJJ was your husband's own private website, how many hits did he say he would rack up in a week? Amanda? Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, a whole lot. <laughs> yeah? Ten? Ten hits in a week? He's a man. Well, what did you say? Ten no! hits! Michelle, what about you? Um, I'm going to say five. What would you say five? A guess. All right. Um, well, let's see if that five. guess is true. What do you say? Five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Christy with a beautiful smile, what do you say? I would say a hundred. A hundred oh. hits. Girl, that computer's going to crash. See your browser history. Hit. Well, what did your husband say? Two. You are not sleeping somewhere else tonight. I just gotta know before we go. That's like 98 hits off. I, I told you those two times make up for all those hundreds. That's what she's. I don't know. <laughs> At the end of this round, we want to congratulate Eric and Michelle. You guys are in the lead with 10 points, so you're taking home that beautiful prize from Reese Jewelers. When we come back, it is the ladies' turn, and the points are doubled, so stay tuned. Got a little prize. And one and two. If and you can't touch, wait to see Carrie Ann and Nava host the new One vs. 100, get in line. It's a show where contestants take on the mob. I'm going with the mob. Let's do it. You're going down. To take home the money. Naba hosts 1 vs. 100. Premieres tonight at 7, 6 central, only on GSN. Pickles! One policy, please. Our service is top-notch. We'll take care of you, your family, even this little guy. 
great. Ta da! Thank you. What else can you do? Ram up, boy. He's on break. <laughs> Caring for you and your loved ones. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. It's that time of year. Time for Campbell's Green Bean Casserole. You'll find the recipe at Campbell'sKitchen.com. Campbell's, it's amazing what soup can do. I'm all of machine. I'm all a machine. I'm a love machine? I'm all... I'm a love machine. I'm a love machine. Mad Gab, the game where the more you say it, the more you get it. Love machine. Get ready to meet Santa's best friend forever. I'm Paws from the North Pole. Yeah, I'm on. And I'd be the Tooth Fairy. Disney's The Search for Santa Paws. Now that's what I'm talking about. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's on Disney Blu-ray DVD combo pack November 23rd. Keurig has over 200 varieties of gourmet coffee and tea to choose from. Keurig is the way to brew fresh, delicious coffee in under a minute. Way to brew. So with Keurig, every cup tastes like it's brewed just for you. Because it is. Choose. Brew. Enjoy. Keurig. Humana and Walmart are teaming up to bring you a low-priced Medicare prescription drug plan called the Humana Walmart Preferred Prescription Plan. It's a new plan that covers both brand and generic prescriptions and has the lowest priced national premium in the country of only $14.80 per month and in-store co-pays as low as $2. When you can save over $450 a year, you can focus on the things that really matter. Go to walmart.com for details. Welcome back to the Newlywed Game. All right, Michelle, Christy, and Amanda, it is time for you to try to answer some questions. These next three are worth 10 points each. Here we go. When you and your girlfriends complain about your significant others, and I know you do, how does your husband measure up? He's a shining prince. He's not the worst and not the best. Or he takes the cake for the biggest jackass hands down. <laughs> what would you say, Michelle? I would say that the first one. He's the first definitely one. the best, yeah. He's a shining prince? Okay. Christy, what about you? I would go with the second one. The uh, second one? He's not the worst and he's not the best. He's an all-around good guy, but uh, I don't know what goes through his head sometimes. There you go. Amanda? Steve is absolutely my shining prince. Yeah. And I definitely always feel like a princess, and he's a wonderful man. He's my best friend, so he's absolutely a shining prince. I want to cry. That was, so, that was beautiful. All right, next question, ladies. Complete this sentence. My husband sounds just like his mother whenever blank is the topic of conversation. Christy? Jeffrey sounds like his mother when, oh boy, food is the topic of conversation. So he sounds just like his mother when that food conversation What, what are we having for dinner tonight, she okay. would always say. Amanda? Uh, they bond over music. So whenever music is the topic, of converse, uh, the topic of conversation, I think that they definitely sound alike. Got you. Michelle? I would say my husband sounds like his mother when they're late for things. They're, okay. <laughs> they're both always late for everything. Got you. All right, next question, ladies. What is the one thing you have done with your husband that no man has gotten you to do before? Mm. Amanda? Um, I would have to say want to get married. No guy ever really made me want to get married. So okay. that's, that's something he's done that nobody could ever do. Got you. All right, Michelle? I would say that one thing that he's got me to do was to... I guess it wasn't really bungee jump, but you kind of not bungee jumped. It, but it's you... like a bungee cord uh -huh. that pulls you up like 200 feet and then lets you swing. <laughs> and he got you to do that when nobody else has been able to do it? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, Christy? I'd have to say travel. Travel? No better way to travel than with your best friend. All right. Here's our bonus question. It has two parts. Each part is worth 15 points. Here we go. Ladies, complete the sentence. I can already tell that when we grow old and gray, my husband's blank will be the first thing to go. And I'll be the first to lose my blank. Michelle? I think for him, the first thing to go will be his car. 
his car because he would look a little silly being old and gray driving his red Mustang. Okay. And for me, the first thing to go would be spending a lot of money. Got you. Christy? His butt. His butt? His butt is perfectly round and nicely shaped and sure after the years it's gonna wind up sagging. Okay, and what about you? My smile. You smile? My smile. When I get old, I'll probably get all wrinkly and won't be able to do it as much anymore. And then maybe just being with the same person for so long, I'll be like, huh. <laughs> so you'll be smiling, you'll be grimacing, and his butt will be sad. Exactly. <laughs> I got you. Amanda. Steve will absolutely lose his hair. Okay. Um, my cute butt will probably be the first thing to go. The first thing me. to go? Mm -mm. It's going to happen. It's, it's happening already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much, ladies. When we return, we are going to see if their husbands can match their answers. Stay with us. And for more newlywed game, go to gsntv.com. Oh, no! Uh -oh. It's the new shark steam mop. Run for the cracks and crevices, boys! Two <laughs> terms can't hide from the all-new Shark Back Then Steam. Superheated steam technology kills 99.9% .9 of germs on hard surface floors and leaves them dry in seconds. It's Shark's most powerful, deepest cleaning steam mop ever. And a built-in vacuum even picks up loose dirt and debris before you mop. Dirt and germs don't stand a chance. He knew sunshine when she's gone. Inspired versions of the songs that inspired the world. Neil Diamond, and I saw Dreams. Her face. A selection of his all time favorite songs of the rock era. Now Neil Diamond, I'm Dreams. Album available now. We now offer phone service for $1.70 a month with Magic Jack. That's just $19.95 a year. $19.95 a year. We give you free local and long distance and your own phone number. Make us your new phone company or add a second line with Magic Jack. Try doing that with a patch. It's not real smoke. It's not real smoke. It's not real smoke. Just water vapor. Just water vapor. Just water vapor. Crazy. I can finally relax without sucking in all those chemicals and tar. Forget nasty, smelly ashtrays. No more smelly hair and clothes. No secondhand smoke. So I can take a drag wherever I want. I can smoke in the bar, not have to go outside. I can even smoke in bed. This is a free country, right? No cigarette tax. Now I can finally start saving for once. I just charge it overnight, and it works all day. This is real, my friends. American Blue Tip, the hassle-free electronic alternative to smoking that looks, feels, and tastes just like the real thing. Call right now. We'll include the classic pocket case for ultra convenience. So pick up the phone and call right now. Power deals. For Power Santas. Black Friday prices start Friday. Save 50 to 60% off sleepwear for the family. Find women's and kids' boots starting at $19.99. Plus, all small kitchen appliances are on sale. Be the Santa you want to be. Find your Santa at Sears.com. Well, that's going to go right in your glove. Oh, oh. See that? Great job. Okay, now let's get ready for the ball. Here it comes. There you go. Good catch! Perfect! All right, now for the best part. Let's see your port. Ooh, let's get those in the bowl. These are way too good to waste, right? Oh, yeah. Let's go for it. Around the bowl. Mm -hmm. And... Share what you love with who you love. Mm. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. They're great! Pretty good catch, Dad. <laughs> He's Pictionary Man. Read the word or phrase on his foot. Swimsuit. Then draw and act out the clues to help your team guess the answer. Dan, who would guess? Yes! Yeah, who would guess? There are over 2,000 clues and endless good times. It's Pictionary Man game. Yeah, 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 yeah. to the newlywed game. And now, your host, Sherry Shepard. Thank you, Gary. All right, the guys are back, so let's see if the men can match what the ladies said. Here's where we stand. Couple number one, you guys are in the lead with 10 points, but you're tied. Couple number two and three, you guys are tied for second place with five points. Here's the first of our 10-point questions. Gentlemen, when your wife and her girlfriends complain about their significant others, and you know that they do, how does your wife say you measure up? You're not the worst. You're not the best. You're a shining prince, or you take the cake for the biggest jackass hands down. <laughs> Eric? Um, I'm going to have to go with 
Shining Prince. Yeah? Yeah. You agree with that? You're Shining All Prince. Right. Jeffrey, what about you? I'd have to say Shining Prince. Mm. I'm always there to save her or do anything that she needs. Yeah, what'd you say? <laughs> uh, you're not the worst, you're not the best. Oh. <laughs> it's that, you know, but that's actually a good thing. Just, you know, you have your good days, you have your bad days, and, you know, you have your, 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 okay. Uh. <laughs> Stephen, what would you say? Shining Prince all the way. Why would you say that? Because she wouldn't have married me otherwise. Ah, she got high standards, huh? Yes. All right, what did you say? A shining prince. <laughs> yeah. Next question. How did your wife complete the sentence? My husband sounds just like his mother whenever blank is the topic of conversation. Jeffrey? Whenever uh, issues are involved. What kind of issues? Uh, family stuff. It was family, family topics, family issues. Okay. All right. Christy, what'd you say? Oh. Whenever there's food involved. Are you in this relationship? <laughs> All right. What about you, Steven? I say whenever we're arguing. Whenever you're arguing? Yeah, okay. What did you say? Music. I knew it. <laughs> oh, man. All right. What about you, Eric? I'm going to have to say cleaning. Cleaning? Yeah, my mom is meticulous. And you are the same way? Absolutely. Okay, what'd you say, Michelle? Lateness. <laughs> oh, that's true, too. Okay. Next question, couples. Gentlemen, what did your wife say is the one thing she's done with you that no man has gotten her to do before? Steven? <sighs> Besides get married? Really? Uh, you like getting married? Um. <laughs> you can give any. You can give any. If that's the answer. No, you no, no. that's not the answer. Uh, uh, go on the newlywed game together. I don't. That's. I would have to say that that's bad. That's poor. If it was bad, what do you want to? That's so vague. That's, okay, go. On, you want to go going on the newlywed together? Yes. All right. What did you say? Getting married. Oh, I'm my freaking, I'm You were patronizing me. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda, did I sound like I was patronizing him? I'm with you. We were on the same page, Sherry. You and I. I'm so upset with you. That was such a beautiful answer. Oh. Okay, we still got time. Eric, what about you? I think we're going to say vacations. Vacations? Yeah. She didn't go on like, vacations before no. she got with you? Not with her other boyfriends or anything like that. So. She didn't go on any vacations? Not with the boyfriends that I know okay. of. <laughs> All right. What did you say, Michelle? Swinging with the, the, the bungee. The ride. Oh. <laughs> Jeffrey, what about you? Oh, Sherry, I hope I get this right. I, I, I'd like to sleep in bed tonight. Uh, but I'm going to try to go with travel. With traveling? Traveling! <laughs> Christy, you are so funny, Christy. He said travel, you're like, here. Yeah. Don't you dare. One versus 100. Let's go! The game show with surprising turns, <laughs> bold steps, <laughs> and smart moves. <laughs> Carrie Ann and Nava's there every step of the way. One versus 100. Premieres tonight at 7, 6 Central. When I love was new. Experience the new Airwick Scent Ribbons Candle from our Winter Luxury Edition with essential oils infusing luxurious ribbons. New Airwick Candles wrap the whole room with ribbon after ribbon of indulgent scent like apple and sheer cinnamon. Winter Luxury by Airwick. Also available in scented oils. Rise and shine! 
fine. Today the world looks mighty fine. Pop-Tarts happy sunshine time. Grab a Pop-Tart and you might just start to sing songs like a meadow lark. Stretch and yawn, blow a kiss to mom, cause Pop-Tarts mornings are the bomb. So rise and shine. Squeegee kid? Uh, I'm a little sick. Sick? You gonna let a sore throat be chip? You'll feel it. Yeah. Oh, stop that talk in every drop. It's made of premium U.S. grown cotton. Taped seams lie smoothly along the neckline. Tailored sleeves, proportional, consistent sizing, and of course comfort is built in. Uh, that never happened. A cape? Really? <sighs> okay. This Christmas, be savvy. Right now at Sears, deck the halls and save. Get 30% off all GE trees. Recycle your old light sets with us and get $4 off new LED lights. Be the Santa you want to be. Find your Santa at Sears.com. Daisy, do a dollop. Our family-owned company makes Daisy with 100% natural farm-fresh cream. No artificial ingredients, no preservatives, and no added hormones. Belltone, a global leader in hearing care, is conducting a study on breakthrough new hearing technology. If you qualify to participate, you will be asked to evaluate a remarkable new product from Belltone. This small device delivers power and clarity, yet is virtually invisible and comfortable. Call 1-800-BELLTONE now and catch every word from your phone, TV, or cell phone. Call 1-800-BELLTONE today. It's that time of year. Time for Campbell's Green Bean Casserole. You'll find the recipe at Campbell'sKitchen.com. Campbell's, it's amazing what soup can do. Welcome back. Here's where we stand. Couple number one, you are in the lead with 20 points. Couple number two and couple number three, you are tied with 15 points. It is anybody's game right now because this is our final question, which is worth up to 30 points. It can change everything. Here we go. Gentlemen, how did your wife complete this sentence? I can already tell that when we grow old and gray, my husband's blank will be the first thing to go, and I'll be the first to lose my blank. Jeffrey. I'll be uh, lose my hair. Mm -hmm. And my wife, her chest. And her chest. All right, what did you say, Christy? You lose your butt, and she's going to lose her smile. Oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Steven, what about you? Hair, for sure. OK. Um, <laughs> and for her, try not to offend her. Good luck, honey. <laughs> I would say figure. You there it is. <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep yourself out of trouble, but I need you to be more specific about her figure. Lose control of her waist? I don't know. Is that waist area? Do you want to say waist? I don't. Okay. <laughs> uh, Steven, I'm sorry. We have to, t okay. we have to take away. All right. Okay. I know I got 15. Um, Amanda, what did you say? Lose your, the hair and the butt. You have half right. <laughs> don't beat yourself up. You got half right. Okay. You are in the lead, Stephen, right now. Eric, okay. what would you say? Something that she would say that I would lose first, probably muscles. Muscles, okay. And for her, maybe abs. And her abs? Abs. Okay. Michelle, what'd you say? <laughs> Car and spending a lot of money. Uh, that means couple number three. Congratulations, Stephen and Amanda. Tonight's runner-ups receive the gift of relaxation, a Massage Envy's couple massage gift card. With over 600 Massage Envy locations nationwide, see how healthy ongoing massage can be. That's our show for tonight. Tune in again when three more couples engage in questionable behavior. Only on the Newlywed Game. Okay, you didn't tore up the furniture. Steven, you guys are going to Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> this 
is Dustin. He's got a secret and it's hidden inside this red bag. Does he have 72 porcelain dolls that look like his mother? <laughs> Was he restrained in a straitjacket inside a padded cell? <laughs> or did he end up marrying the stripper from his bachelor party? We'll open up this bag and a whole lot more coming up on Baggage! It's pronounced Pakaj. Get out of here! <laughs> you I can work with. You give me three days, and I will find the woman you will marry. <laughs> uh, no thanks. I don't need an algorithm to meet women. It, it's New York City, you know, plenty of fish in the sea. Plenty of fish in the sea. Yes, there's uh, 9 million people in New York, 4.5 million women. Of course, you want to meet somebody roughly your own age, let's say, plus minus five years. So if we take into account the most recent census data, that leaves us with 482,000. But, uh, wait, 48% of those are already in relationships, and then you have to eliminate half for intelligence, sense of humor, and compatibility. And then you have to take out the ex-girlfriends and the relatives, and, oh, we can't forget those lesbians. <laughs> and then that leaves us with eight women. <laughs> That can't be right. Eight? Really? Eight? There are eight fish in that big blue ocean, Ted. And if you feel confident that you could reel one into your boat without me, there's the door. Do you take credit cards? Okay, it's back, and this time we got a good look. Hey, seriously, you have to stop doing that. It's bigger now. It's been feeding. We were just upstairs watching TV. Oh, gosh. Yeah.